Alright guys, so part two on how to ride a motorcycle. This part is going to be on actually riding the bike and uh, I'm going to go over shifting gears, uh, friction zone, how to start out basically. So now that you've already checked your bike over, you're good to go. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do this real quick. So this is your gear shifter right here and your clutch. This is all you're going to need to shift gears, right? So uh, initially you're going to be in neutral. You're going to want to start your bike in neutral and you're going to pull your clutch in and you're going to kick it down like that. That's going to put you into first gear. Now you're going to be, as you move, you're going to have to throttle and then you're going to have to pull your clutch out. We'll let you, uh, let you start riding. I'm going to show you that part though. Uh, and then you're going to pull the clutch in, shift up, that's second gear, clutch out and be giving it gas simultaneously. So. Go ahead and have a click down from second is going to be like right there should be neutral so between first and second is neutral right here right so when you're in first you can half a click it up to get in neutral if you click hard you're going to go up in second same thing with second if you want to go into neutral half a click down or if you click it too hard you're going to go into first all right so let this truck pass by and uh you definitely want to find a rural area like this where there's very little traffic, long straightaway, very, very little traffic. Um, a place that you can safely practice this. You don't want to be going out in the streets and practicing these things. So we'll go ahead and get started. Put your gear on, that's another big tip. You definitely want to wear your gear because you may not wreck today, you may not wreck tomorrow, you may not wreck ever, but it is very high, highly likely that you will eventually go down, whether it's in a parking lot or whether it's you know 100 miles down the highway um, it's really you know it's a very dangerous sport but it is very fun and uh, you can do it safely you know you take your time you learn the things that you need to learn in an area like this and where you can practice and uh, be a lot more safe and taking it straight out on the highway and just trying to learn out there so uh, alright we're gonna get into this so on my bike is not a neutral, obviously, so I'm going to half a click. It's already in first. So half a click up, now it's going to be in neutral, right? Half a click up. Um, Alright, we're going to go ahead and start this baby up. Clutch in for a Suzuki. Other bikes you don't have to clutch in, just go ahead and start it right up. Alright, so we're up. So, the first things first is the friction zone, okay? The friction zone is when you pop into first gear, um, as you're letting the clutch out, where the clutch is going to start uh, engaging or disengaging I guess um, to where the bike is going to start rolling forward right all right so the friction zone is going to be your first um, tip is going to be so when you get your bike into first gear you're going to pull your clutch in you're going to push it down push your shift lever down and that'll put it into first gear and you're ready to start moving right so you, the friction zone is the point to where the clutch is coming away from your grip right here so the point of where it's coming out and like say right here is where your bike's going to start pu pulling forward not much until you start giving it gas right but that's the friction zone that's where you need to start giving it a little bit of gas you don't want to be like this and then letting it out you want it to be like very very lightly it doesn't take much much gas to get this baby going all right so friction zone i will show you all right pop it clutches in pop it into the first all right so friction zone no gas ready friction zones right there see my bike starting to move right so no no throttle whatsoever friction zone right right there right my bike's just starting to move by itself right I don't need any throttle so that is the point to where you want to be starting to get it, give it to gas so uh, it's in first gear all right so friction zone and start giving it gas right not much very little I'm like barely pulling them back on the throttle right now you pull back on the throttle too hard and it's gonna it's gonna take off right you don't want that okay so you're still rolling in first gear all right so I would say practice rolling around in first gear and stopping so to stop you're gonna want to use your front brake rear brake and you're gonna pull in your clutch like that Pull in the clutch because you, if you don't pull in the clutch, you're, not, you're gonna either stall out or you're gonna keep on moving. Okay, so pull in your clutch when you want to be able to stop, and you can either shift it into neutral or just hold your clutch in, right? 
So again, we're gonna do this again. Friction zone, right there. Start giving it some gas, right? And then you let your clutch all the way out. You're good to go. Now you can ride. So ride around in first gear, get comfortable with it. Just, uh, you wanna be comfortable with these things before you start moving on to the second, the next thing, right? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just bust the UE right here so I can get, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and bust the UE. It's a lot, a lot easier to explain things on a long straightaway like that. You don't ideally wanna go off road when you're just learning like that. So, all right, one more time. It's third time, last time I'm gonna explain this part. Friction zone right here, okay? Friction zone, bike starting to move, give it some gas. See, I'm barely giving it gas right there, just enough to get it to move. All right, so now to shift, you're gonna pull in your clutch and kick it up. Ready? So clutch in, off the gas, pull the, pull the uh, shift lever up, clutch out, and same thing, just like you're riding in first gear, right? Same, same exact thing, okay? Same thing to go into third. Clutch in, off the throttle for a second, uh, shift lever up into third, and that'll get you into third, right? Just like that. Clutch in, off the throttle for just a second, and then shift lever up. So that'll get you into third gear. So now you're in third. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to being in second gear again, and I'm gonna show you how to downshift. All right, so I'm in second gear again, and uh, to downshift, you're essentially gonna do the exact same thing, but you're gonna be shifting down. Obviously, very simple, right? So clutch in, off the throttle for just a second, shift lever down, one click down, that'll put you into first, right? If you click too easy, you're gonna go into neutral, though, so you wanna click, you know, very solid to get you down into first. So clutch in, off the gas, shift lever down, first gear, clutch out, and go on the gas, right? Very simple. If you've ever driven a stick shift car, a manual, it is literally the exact same thing, except your clutch is now at your hand instead of your foot, and your shift lever is now at your foot instead of your hand, right? I know it sounds like kind of like, oh, that's confusing, but it's really not. Like, riding a motorcycle is not that hard. Like, anyone can learn to ride a motorcycle. You know, if you have all four limbs, I've even seen people that are amputees that ride motorcycles. So uh, it's very simple. Shifting gears is probably one of the trickiest things um, to learn, but it's very simple once you uh, get the hang of it. So again, I'm in first gear. I'm gonna go ahead and shift up into second. So I'm gonna be on the throttle a little bit. Off the throttle, shift. That's it. Clutch in, shift, real quick. And you wanna be doing that, like I'm showing you in the beginning, I'm showing you doing that very slowly, but you wanna be doing it very quickly. So everything happens like simultaneously, um, and it's a very quick process, right? So now we're going to the third, now we're in third, okay? So you can, uh, depending on your bike, how many gears you have, this bike has six gears, so I can go all the way up into six, and then all the way back down to one, and then pop it into neutral, right? So now when you come to a complete stop and you're ready to get off your bike, so, all right, so I'm gonna shift down into first, or say if I'm in second like this, I'm, I'm in second, right? I can shift down half a click, just barely click it, and then boom, it's in neutral, right? So you can go into neutral and you'll roll. Like neutral, you're just gonna roll the weight of the bike. The bike's not gonna be moving itself. Like as soon as you hit the brakes, it's gonna come to a stop. So you wanna be on your front and rear brake, Front brake is the most important. That's where most of your stopping power is gonna be. But uh, rear brake's gonna definitely help too and it has this place. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I don't know uh, how else I can explain this, but I've had a lot of people hit me up on uh, Instagram and some of my videos and try to get me to teach you a uh, how to ride video. And I thought it'd be cool to uh, just go through some tips and tricks and uh, you know, a different take on my channel for a little while. Um, so yeah, this is the basic how to shift gears. Um, I'm thinking about doing a part three. If you guys have any suggestions on other things I can do like braking or U-turning or cornering, maybe that would be part three. Um, but for now, I'm gonna do this one more time just for shits and giggles. So go ahead, you're in neutral. You got the bike down, you're gonna shift it into first. 
font, make sure nobody's coming, obviously. <laughs> friction zone and gas, right? Friction zone is where your clutch is gonna be disengaging to where your bike's gonna start moving. That's all it is. But it is very good to learn because if you're ever on a hill, trying to start out on a hill or something, you definitely wanna know where your friction zone is. So that's it for this, guys. Um, go ahead and shift in a second and keep on rolling. Stay safe, be safe out there, ride safe, and I will catch you guys on the next light, next video. All right, peace and ride safe.